dear students welcome to ishishana program 4 i am dr v ramchandra murthy professor of mathematics and head of the department of basic sciences rr institute of technology chikkabadavara bangalore first of all i would like to thank the authorities of vtu for identifying me as one of the subject experts to take classes through ishikshana platform i also thank our honorable management and principal rr institute of technology for their support and encouragement for me to involve in this particular program dear students i'll be discussing module 5 of first semester mathematics course titled calculus and linear algebra bearing subject code 18 mat level in my lectures the plan of coverage of syllabus of module 5 of first semester mathematics course is as follows basic definitions along with the introduction so introduction introduction and basic definitions rank of a matrix scientists and engineers in their relevant study mechanical engineers use linear algebra 
to design and analyze suspension systems electrical engineers use linear algebra to design and analyze electrical circuits biomedical engineers use linear algebra to enhance x rays tomography electronics engineers use linear algebra in image processing civil engineers use linear algebra in traffic flow problems chemical engineers use linear algebra in balancing chemical equation and so on so let me now consider and discuss module 5 that is linear algebra of first semester mathematics course titled calculus and linear algebra bearing core 18 mat level. so let me start from the definition of a matrix what is a matrix it is a system of m into n numbers arranged along m rows and n columns bounded by the brackets so this is the definition of a matrix so let me recollect all the definitions which are pretty much required for this chapter what is a matrix so let me define the matrix first A system of m into n numbers. A system of m into n numbers. Arrange. Arrange. In a rectangle formation. In a rectangle. Rectangular formation. Allah. Yeah. Rose. And yen. Cards. And bounded. And bounded. By brackets. Open bracket or closed bracket is called is called an M by M matrix. M by M matrix. So matrix is actually represented by Capital letters, capital A, capital B, capital X, like that. Matrices are usually are represented by represented by capital letters. Capital letters like capital A, capital B, capital C, and so on. Example. Example. Let me consider a matrix with general elements. Matrix with general elements. A11. A12, etc. A1, N. A2, 1. A2, 2. A2, N. So, like we have A31, A41, etc. The last thing, let me consider AM1. A, M2. A, M1. Yeah, yeah. So enclosed between the square brackets. 
Okay. So A is there are m car rows and n car rows. So this is A is a matrix of order m by n. A is a matrix of order m by n. And that we represent at this corner like m cross n. So this is this is to be read as m by n. So each of the m into n numbers, each of these entries or each of the m into n numbers are called the elements of e or called the elements of a. So for example, a over 1 is an element of a which is located in the first row and the first column. Similarly, a over 2 is an element of a in the first row, second column. a into 2 is an element of a in the second row, second column. And similarly, amn is an element of a uh, in the mth row and nth column. So a12, a12 is an element in the first row and the first second column. a12 is an element each of them each of the m into n numbers each of the n into m numbers is called an element is called an element of a a12 is an element in the first row is an element in the first row and second column first row and second column of the matrix of the matrix A. A22 is an element in the second row in the second row and second column Second card of the matrix A and so on. In general, Aij, in general, Aij is an element in the ith row and jth column of the matrix A. <coughs> in general, in general, Aij is an element is an element or entry is an element in the ith row and jth column of the element in the ith row and jth column j column are the matrix So unlike determinants, <coughs> which can be reduced to a, a single number, a matrix cannot be reduced to a single number. It is a different, it should be treated as a different entity. The difference between the matrix and determinant is by the fact that interchange of rows and columns does not alter the determinant, but definitely gives a different matrix. A matrix should be a matrix should be treated as a single entity 
should be treated as a single entity with a number of components with a number of components brought out by the fact Is called a matrix, and a single row is called 
error matrix is called error matrix. Example. Example. Matrix A is equal to 1, 0, minus 1, 4, uh, 6 is a row matrix. A matrix having a single column. A matrix having a single column is called a column matrix. Column matrix. Example. Example. Matrix B is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 4. If you look at the order of this, there is a only one row and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 columns. So this is 1 cross 5 or 1 by 5 matrix row matrix and here there are four rows and single column so rows first so four by one four plus one, four by one matrix so here yeah, rows and columns are regarded as row vectors and column vectors but so this you can take as a row
matrix D with the address 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 4, 6, <coughs> some entries 3, minus 1, 0. Is a square matrix of order 3. 3 by 3 square matrix. So rho is 3, so I don't know what to A square matrix, a square matrix of order 3. And so, so it's really you can define a, a square matrix of order 4, of order 5, 6, and in general, nth order square matrix. The diagonal of this matrix containing the numbers 1, 4, 5 in this 3 by 3 matrix are 2, 3 in 2 by 2 matrix is the principal diagonal of that matrix. The diagonal of this matrix, the diagonal of this matrix of this matrix containing containing one four five in with this matrix taking an example containing one four five is called the principal diagonal. Is called is called the principal diagonal. Is called the principal diagonal. Then principal. is called the determinant of A and determinant of B respectively. The determinant the determinant determinant having the same elements having the same elements of the square matrix of the square matrix, let us say A, having the same elements of the square matrix A. is called is called the determinant determinant of A A square matrix is said to be singular 
the determinant is zero. Otherwise, it is said to be non-zero. Otherwise, non-zero. Except those in the principle. 
for that except those take the principal diagonal diagonal are zero are zero is called a diagonal is called a diagonal is called a diagonal Now, the matrix. A matrix in which 
all the entries are zero, is called a null matrix. Null matrix. If all the elements of a matrix are zero, if all the elements of a matrix if all the elements of a matrix are zero are zero it is called a null matrix it is called a null So this is an important matrix that we have in the class. Triangular matrix. Triangular matrix. There are two types of triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix and lower triangular matrix. Okay. A square matrix. A square matrix, all of whose elements, all of whose elements, all of whose elements below the principal diagonal, below. The principal diagonal are zero below the principal diagonal diagonal are zero is called upper triangular matrix is called upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix similarly <coughs> for example 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 <coughs> you is equal to five two minus one zero four three zero zero six or oh, minus six. Okay. So this is the principal diagram. Principal diagram. Below the principal diagram, all the entries are zero. Not necessarily this must be always non zero. It can be zero also. But preferably, eh, all the elements below the principal diagonal should be equal to zero. In such case, we call that particular matrix as an upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular triangular Upper triangular matrix. Similarly, a square matrix, all of whose elements above the principal diagonal are zero, is called lower triangular matrix. A square matrix, a square matrix. All of whose elements, all of whose elements, above, above the principal diagonal, above the principal diagonal, R zero, R zero. Is called 
is called lower triangular matrix. Lower triangular lower triangular matrix. Lower triangular matrix. For example, Yen is equal to Yen is equal to two zero zero two minus one zero four minus six zero four. Okay. So this is the principal diagram. All the elements above the principal diagram. R zero. So we say this is the lower triangular matrix. Lower triangular matrix. Lower triangular matrix. Triangular. of the same order so here yeah, we can add two matrices only if they are of the same order otherwise we can add proceed addition or subtraction a and b are two matrices of the same order of the same order A4, A5, A6, 
consider another matrix B. I have to consider if I want if I want to multiply A with B, I have to consider a matrix B in such a way that number of columns of A should be equal to number of rows of B. So B should be equal to number of columns of A. So I can take 3, 1, 0, minus 1, 2. It has here number of columns, 1, 2, 3, number of rows, 1, 2, 3. There are 3 columns in A, 3 rows in B. So it can be multiplied. So A into B is compatible with power multiplication. So you know how to do the multiplication row by column. 1, 0 into 3 plus 1 into 0 plus 2 into 2. So 0 into 3 is 0 plus 1 into 0, 0 plus 2 into 2, 0 plus 0 plus 4. Then second row, first, first row, second column, first row, first column, I finish here. Then first row, second column, 0, 1 into minus 1, minus 1, 2 into 2, 4. So I end up with 2 columns again. Then second row first column minus 1 into 3 minus 3 2 into 0 0 1 into 2 plus 2. So minus 3 plus 0 plus 2. Second row second column 1 into minus 1 minus 1 2 into minus 1 minus 2 1 into 2 plus 2. Then last row first column 1 into 3 3. 4 into 0, 0, 3 into 2, 6. Then last row, last column, 1 into 1, 1, 4 into minus 1, minus 4, 3 into 2, plus 6. So this is equal to 4, 3, here, yeah, minus 1 plus 4, 3, minus 3 plus 2, minus 1. Minus 1, then minus 1, 3 plus 6, 9, then uh, 7 minus 4 is 3. Okay. okay, so this is a matrix of order 3 by 3, 3 by 3. This is a matrix of order 3 by 2, 3 by 2. So this should be they should be equal. The corresponding resulting matrix of the multiplications A and B will be always 3 cross 3 by so 3 rows and 2 columns. So 3 by 2 matrix. So now we can uh, look at these two matrices whether B to A is possible. B to A is not possible because number of columns is 2 here and number of rows of A is 3. So it is not compatible for multiplication uh, like B with A, B. So A, B is possible. B, A is not possible. It is possible only when the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the uh, second matrix. Okay. So with this, I will stop here. I will continue my lectures in my next class and I will be taking a rank of a matrix.